All right, this is Mr. Barr, and this is how to graph quadratic functions in vertex form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a t-table. Boom, x, y, and I'm just going to throw out a really small net. I'm going to throw out a negative 1, a 0, and a 1. So if I put a negative 1 into this, negative 1 squared is 1 times 8 is 8. If I plug a 0 into this thing, plug in a 0, I get out and 0, right? 0 squared is 0 times 8 is 0. If I plug in a 1, 1 squared is 1 times 8. There it is. That's enough to graph this thing. Okay, I've got to, um, I have to exit out of this drawing mode so I can graph it, but I'm looking at 0, 0, and 1, 8. So 0, 0, 1, 8. There's my graph. Okay, let's try another one. Same thing, t-table, x, and y. I'm going to plug in negative 1, 0, and 1, just a really small net, see if I catch it. If I plug in a negative 1, I get out a negative 6. If I plug in a 0, I get out a 0. If I plug in a 1, I get out a negative 6. So over here, I'm going to plot 0, 0, because that's the vertex, and 1, negative 6. 0, 0, 1, Negative 6, there's my graph. I'm going to do it again. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to do this one faster. Um, here. This is 0, 0, and 1, 5. I want to try to get a different type of problem here. 0, 0, and if I put in a 1, I get out a 2. Come on. Okay, here's a little bit better one. Okay, let's go fishing. We've got to catch that bottom. X and Y. Okay, let's go with negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, one, two, three. Okay. Put in a negative three. Negative three squared is nine times five. I'm, this thing's going to be off the graph, so I'm not even look at that one. Negative two. Negative two squared is four times five is twenty minus three is seventeen. Put in a negative one. Negative one squared is one times five is five minus three is two. I'm still looking for that bottom. Plug in a zero. Zero squared is zero times five is zero minus three is negative three. Plug in a one. One squared is one times five is five minus three is two. I just found it. I just caught it. There it is. Here it is right there. This is the bottom of it. That's all I need. Zero, negative three, one, two. Zero, negative three, one, two. Zero, Negative three, one, two. Did I mess that up though? Did I catch? Is that the vertex? That's yeah. That's it. Okay. I think that's right. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna submit it. Good work. Okay. Let's try one more of these. T table. Boom. Boom. X. Y, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Just like what I did in class today. Negative 3. Negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6 squared is 36 times 5. That's huge. It's not even going to sit on the graph. Negative 2 minus 3 is 5. 5 squared is 25 times. Not even going to get sit on the graph. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. Squared is 16 times, not even going to fit on the graph. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Squared is 9 times, not even going to fit on the graph. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4 times negative 5. Okay, that one's getting close, but I'm up to a 20. Here we go. 2. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1 times 5 is negative 5. 
At least now I'm on the graph. Three. Three minus three is zero. Zero squared is zero times negative five is zero. Okay, let's throw out a little bit more over here. Let's find, plug in a four and a five and see if we can catch this thing. Plug in a four. Four minus three is one. One squared is one times negative five is, there it is. That's it. Here's my bottom. So three, zero, four, negative five. Three, zero, four, negative five. Three, zero, four, negative five. Correct. Okay, there's the video. That's how you do it. Guys, it's what we did in class today. Make a T table and throw out a net and see what you catch. Thanks for watching.